Neurotransmitters are vital chemical messengers in your brain that help send messages between neurons and are essential for coordinating the body and brain's functions. The brain generates multiple neurotransmitters, each serving distinct purposes, crucial for regulating different behaviors. We can draw parallels to some of these neurotransmitters to the characters from Disney Pixar's beloved movie franchise, Inside Out. The first neurotransmitter to consider is dopamine, often called the reward chemical. It is produced in several areas of the brain, including the substantia nigra and the ventral tegmental area. Dopamine is released during pleasurable situations, leading to feelings of elation. For example, when we receive positive feedback, achieve our goals, or engage in activities we enjoy, such as social interaction, dopamine levels increase. This neurotransmitter is crucial in motivation, pleasure, and reward, driving us to repeat enjoyable actions. Dopamine mirrors the character Joy, who guides Riley towards happiness and positivity while trying to erase negative experiences. For instance, when Riley scores a goal in hockey, the moment is filled with excitement and triumph. Joy, representing Riley's positive emotions, takes control, radiating happiness and satisfaction. This reflects how dopamine functions in our brains. Riley's achievement is like a spike in dopamine, rewarding her with feelings of joy and accomplishment. Joy's relentless pursuit of happiness closely aligns with how dopamine works in the brain. Serotonin, often called the feel-good chemical, is produced in neurons originating in the Raphe nuclei located in the brainstem's midline. It promotes feelings of happiness and calmness, similar to the relaxation experienced during activities like yoga or unwinding on the sofa watching Netflix or your favorite YouTube channel. Serotonin plays a key role in regulating mood, sleep, and appetite, helping maintain a balanced emotional state. While serotonin promotes happiness, sharing some similarities with the character Joy, its role differs from Joy's energetic pursuit of positivity, which more closely resembles dopamine. Instead, serotonin's role in mood regulation is better embodied by the character Sadness. For instance, when Riley struggles after moving to a new city and starting at a new school, she feels out of place, overwhelmed and disconnected from her previous life. This period of adjustment brings feelings of hopelessness and sadness, with sadness becoming more prominent, reflecting how Riley's emotional state is impacted by her difficulties in adapting. This mirrors how low serotonin levels can contribute to depressive symptoms. In the film, sadness can be seen as representing the effects of serotonin deficiency, symbolized by feelings of depression and melancholy. Thus, sadness poignantly illustrates serotonin's role in emotional well-being. Norepinephrine, also known as noradrenaline, is produced in the locus ceruleus, located in the brainstem, and functions as the brain's equivalent of adrenaline. This neurotransmitter primes the body for moments of excitement, stress, and arousal, preparing it to react quickly. It triggers sensations like a racing heart during intense moments, such as watching a thrilling game of football. Norepinephrine is crucial in the body's fight or flight response, keeping it alert and ready. Because of these effects, norepinephrine is most similar to the character anger. While norepinephrine influences various emotions, including anger, anger embodies this neurotransmitter through his easily aroused, hot-headed nature and fiery temperament. For example, when Riley's pizza order is messed up, causing stress and frustration, anger becomes intensely upset. His quick and passionate reactions to frustration reflect norepinephrine's role in triggering intense emotional responses during stressful situations, illustrating how this neurotransmitter contributes to feelings of anger and frustration. Gamma aminobutyric acid, or GABA, is the brain's primary inhibitory neurotransmitter, essential for reducing neuronal excitability and preventing overstimulation. GABA acts like a brake in a car, allowing us to slow down and avoid becoming overwhelmed. Without GABA, we could easily resemble characters like fear or anxiety, as GABA is closely linked to regulating these emotions. 
By binding to specific receptors in neurons, GABA suppresses neural activity, reducing anxiety and fear responses. In its absence, we become susceptible to overwhelming anxiety, similar to what Riley experiences in Inside Out 2 when entering her new school. This exaggerated concern and nervousness mirror what happens when GABA's inhibitory control is diminished, leading to heightened stress responses and a sense of overwhelming anxiety. Disruptions in GABA functioning are often associated with anxiety disorders, which are frequently treated with benzodiazepines, drugs that enhance GABA's binding at its receptors. This underscores the deep connection between GABA and the character anxiety. His character illustrates how a lack of inhibitory control can lead to excessive worry and stress, mirroring the real-life effects of GABA deficiencies on emotional regulation and anxiety. All neurotransmitters play vital roles in regulating behavior and emotion. However, our emotions and behavior are incredibly complex, involving interlinked interactions and balanced combinations of various neurotransmitters. Neuroscientific research, therefore, does not focus solely on studying these neurotransmitters in isolation, but also to understand how they interact together. Indeed, the combination of these neurotransmitters, plus hundreds of others in the body, could reflect some of the more complex emotional states introduced in Inside Out 2, such as envy, embarrassment, and ennui. Ultimately, it's the intricate interplay of these neurotransmitters that shapes the full spectrum of human emotion, making each experience unique and multifaceted.